We continue to follow breaking news this morning out of Oshkosh, where there has been an officer involved shooting with two people hurt, including a school resource officer and a student, both taken to the hospital, their conditions unknown at this hour. This again, all unfolding at Oshkosh West High School, located at 375 North Eagle Street. Officers dispatched to the school just before 915 this morning for reports that a student who was armed with a weapon uh, had gotten into an altercation with the school resource officer, again, both injured and taken to the hospital. They are the only two who have been injured. We are now getting live pictures from the scene. Again, live pictures from Oshkosh West High School. You can see multiple squad cars on the scene, along with school buses lined up. Students currently being taken from Oshkosh West High School to Perry Tipler Middle School, where they are being reunited with their parents. Perry Tipler, also located on Eagle Street, less than a mile down the road. Again, an officer involved shooting at Oshkosh West High School, two injured, a student had a weapon. Uh, they're in the process of now evacuating West High School and sending those students to Perry Tipler Middle School where they are being reunited right now with their parents. If you are one of those parents who is headed to the middle school to pick up your child, you are asked to bring a form of identification so you can be reunited with your student. Again, uh, this investigation, we're told by Oshkosh police, has been turned over to the State Department of Criminal Investigation. This is standard protocol in officer-involved shootings such as this one. We have, uh, as you can see, a crew live on the scene capturing these live pictures of what is unfolding right now at Oshkosh West High School. Now, Oshkosh police have been posting updates on their Facebook page today. Uh, and this is an, uh, uh, the statement from them. It says, quote, there has been an officer involved shooting at Oshkosh West High School. The school is currently locked down and parents can be reunited with their children at Perry Tipler Middle School. Again, that is happening right now as we speak. The statement goes on to say a student was armed with a weapon and confronted a school resource officer. The student and officer were both injured and transported to local hospitals only one student was injured. The statement goes on, this incident is being turned over to the State Department of Criminal Investigation who will conduct the investigation. There will be more information released as it becomes available. We have reached out to Oshkosh police along with numerous other sources to get more information for you. As soon as we get that, we will bring that to you both on air and online. Now the Oshkosh Area School District also posting a statement to Facebook a short time ago. Again, they say parents must show photo ID when arriving to pick up their students at Perry Tipler Middle School. That's where they're being reunited right now. Uh, Oshkosh West parents asked to check their parent portal for additional information. The district said more information will be shared from them as well as it becomes available. Uh, so if you're just joining us, there has been an officer involved shooting at Oshkosh West High School. The call coming in just before 915 this morning, Oshkosh police confirm that one student had a weapon and got into an altercation with a school resource officer. Both were injured during that incident. They have been taken to local hospitals where right now we do not know their condition. Uh, an evacuation is underway at this moment at Oshkosh West High School. Those students being taken to Perry Tipler Middle School where they are being reunited with their parents. NBC 26 has multiple crews on the scene, also heading to the scene. We will continue to monitor this breaking news situation and bring you the very latest information as we get it.